In the energy quadrant, taking a look at the October crude oil contract, which is having its best day in a week, hitting its highest price level since November 14th of last year. That level, 89.37, was up 2.38% from yesterday's settlement of 87.29. Since the end of May now, crude oil has risen 30.8%. On the downside today in the October crude, 87.22 was the low. That was only down eight basis points, so less than a tenth of 1% from yesterday's settlement. We settled today above 89 dollars a barrel, like around 89.09, 89.10, up a little bit more than 2% on the day. Now we have some supply conflicts going on within OPEC. Despite Saudi Arabia's promised production cuts, OPEC production rose in August, according to OPEC's latest monthly oil market report. Their August production was 27.45 million barrels per day. That's an increase of 113 million barrels per, I'm sorry, 113,000 barrels per day from July. The increase comes mostly from Nigeria and Iran, and Saudi Arabia's production actually declined by 88,000 barrels, which is as expected, but that's kind of conflicting the overall supply narrative coming out of OPEC. OPEC, and of course you've got Russia included in those promise cuts that are now extended through December. So we'll have to see how that plays out in reference to the price of crude oil, relative to the price of crude oil, I should say. But we did have a real disruption in Libyan supply, battered by the storm named Daniel over the last several days, as Ill is a lot of that area of the world. Libya has shuttered four oil ports, and those oil ports are vital to shipping out some of oils, uh, Libya's oil production. There's no sign of those reopening anytime soon as the storm continues to batter the area. So once that production comes online, it could be a little bit of a headwind for the price of crude oil. It'll most likely affect Brent more than WTI, but it's still something you should keep an eye on.